Hi, this is Earthman Lanny Smith, and I'm glad to be with you. If you've ever looked up at the sky at night, you'll see billions and billions of stars and planets. Yet only our Earth, the third planet from the sun, gives us all a place to, to live and love and be with family and play games and watch movies and everything in our life. This incredible planet that needs our help right now. Please understand, we live at a critical moment in Earth's history. A time when humanity must choose its future, as the world becomes increasingly interdependent and fragile. The future at once holds great peril and great promise. We are one human family and one Earth community with a common destiny. Let ours be a time remembered for the awakening of a new reverence for life, the firm resolve to achieve sustainability, the quickening of the struggle for justice and peace, and the joyful celebration of life. We have plenty of challenges in our country and our world, but none of them can be solved unless we deal with the most pressing issue, the climate crisis. Now, have you heard about climate change? Well, here's a five minute primer to bring you up to speed. Earthman here with a word about the planet. There's something going on, you know, I just can't stand it. People aren't looking, but it's crystal clear. We got a serious problem with the atmosphere. There are glaciers melting, lakes drying out. We got a flood over here and over here. We got a drought. The Earth's in trouble. Don't think I'm lying. Just check out the way the forests are dying. The reefs are in trouble, and it seems kind of strange. We're getting more and more and more and more hurricanes. So I'm here with a word about global warming. What makes it happen? How we got to start forming a plan to save all nature and humankind you know we gotta stop acting like we lost our minds 150 years of industrial revolution means 150 years of air pollution we keep burning coal we keep burning oil we just keep doing damage to the planet boil hey give me some space Here's how it works, now here's the sun, burning hot as you please, on the surface it's 11,000 degrees. And here's the earth, let me get you clued, about why we don't all get barbecued. On the surface of the earth is a thin, thin layer of that very important stuff we call air. The earth's atmosphere traps just enough of the sun's radiation and the rest bounces off. Here's what science is proving true, it all stops working with too much CO2. You've heard of greenhouse gases and carbon emissions? Let let me explain, just give me a listen. Instead of bouncing back into space, greenhouse gas traps the heat in our place. Then the heat affects the land, the heat affects the water. We'll have big, big changes if it gets a little hotter. Dig what is happening, here's a notion. You know the world is mostly ocean, and water is deep, and dark and blue, and dark absorbs heat. Am I making sense to you? Out on the oceans are miles of ice. There are polar ice caps, and Greenland's nice. Ice is white, and white reflects heat. But look at what's happening where the ice and water meet. The ice is melting into the sea, which absorbs more heat. And take it from me, with more hot water around the ice, you just get more hot water and less and less ice. And up in the mountains, there's heat there too. And it's melting the glaciers. What's this to you? That's just more water running into the sea. And that'll have a huge effect on you and me. If this keeps happening, don't be surprised when the surface of the ocean start to rise. Florida, three feet, six feet, nine. The world's coastlines will be under the brine. The heat does the opposite with inland lakes. They'll all dry out if we don't put on the brakes and change directions as fast as we can. I hope you're listening to your friend Earthman. The heat sucks moisture out of the soil. Crops can't grow when the land is broiled. No fresh water means no fresh food. And then here's a little more to lighten 
in your mood when the oceans get hot nature complains by spinning off powerful hurricanes we've had rita katrina wilma and more and we can only guess what we have in store now you know the problem is caused by co2 did you realize greenhouse gases come from you when you drive a car when you take a long shower when you turn on the lights or use any kind of power most of our energy is from oil and coal and those emissions are taking their toll but earth man's here with good news too because i got some really simple things you can do to make a difference in your own small way and if everyone helps we can see a day when the threat is gone and there's a celebration instead of making problems for the next generation can you ride a bus carpool or better yet can you do your work over the internet here's one that saves you money and it's not unpleasant just change all your light bulbs to compact fluorescence oxygen from co2 i'd plant a whole forest if i were you energy from the wind and sun is the way of the future for everyone conserve fresh water recycle your waste and this one's a biggie it's last but not least make sure your government reps take note that creating solutions will get the vote this isn't about jobs it isn't about money it's about saving the entire planet you see it's gotta be done at any cost cause if we don't it'll all be lost I'm the Earth Man, my jam is done. I thank you for listening, hope it was fun. So use your power as I finish my song. Spread the word and pass this along. Let's take care of our planet. We can do it, everybody. Let's take care of our planet. We can save this planet right now. Our home, Mother Earth, Gaia, is a living planet. And if you listen closely, you can hear it speaking to all of us calling for help. I hear our planet calling, calling for freedom from pain. It's time we move past the blame. Oh, we're on the edge of the night. The great news is that we have got the power to change the future. But first we must educate ourselves because knowledge is power. 
And then we must activate ourselves to become part of the solution any way that we can. Just listen to these kids. Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in this world. So be the change. Lead by example. There are plenty of places on the web to study climate change, sea level rise, what's happening in the atmosphere, and how it affects everything that's on the land. It's a choice to make, and the choice now is in your hands. So please, make a decision and get involved any way that you can especially by voting for people who understand the problem and are ready to create solutions. So if you would like access to the music and videos from my environmental outreach, please write me at that email address and tell me where you learned about this information. Thank you so much. Please make a difference and peace be with you.